Okay, so I dirked a little. I forgot that I need to run coolant lines for the throttle body. One is just right there below that zip tie. That's not too bad. The other one, unfortunately, is down here in this freaking bat cave. That's it right there. So I'm thinking to get to it, I'm going to have to take this uh, bracket for lifting the engine off. Just these two bolts, and I think that that will move this, which is going to give me room to do what I need to do. So wish me luck. So that was a pain in the bum, but finally got it connected. And then this one over here for the return, where is it? Right there for the return. That one was pretty easy. And then we got them both connected up here where they're supposed to be. And now I got this back from the professional paint shop, as you can see, looks super nice. I'm gonna bolt it in place and then look at mounting the radiator and intercooler. So I decided I'd better do all the wiring and routing before I put the radiator in. It's a lot easier and I've got this huge hole to work through. So I've got the fuel feed and the fuel return lines plumbed. And I suppose next I'm going to focus on doing the engine bay side of the wiring harness. Um, I labeled everything when I took it off the car. So I'm hoping that that doesn't take very long. Getting super close. All right, so today I'm looking at doing the exhaust or at least making a downpipe. I need to keep this piece because it has an O2 bung in the bottom of it right here. You can't really see it, but I need to keep it and I need to keep it shaped the way it is, unfortunately. Um, so I guess I'm gonna make the pipe curve and go down there. Should be able to make it work. There's a decent amount of room to work with it. So I've started by taking the old downpipe and chopping the flange off. So we're gonna put the flange on and then see if I can chop off that bend right there and make this work. All right, so my downpipe is all made and tacked up. I went ahead and put the sensor in to make sure that it would clear. It does. Here's a better view. Just cut the flange and then made pie cuts down here. Um, just barely clears the frame there. So I'm, once I get everything welded, I'm gonna bash that section in. For the moment, it just dumps out. Let's see if I can get to it. Uh, for the moment, it just dumps out right there, but I think that'll be fine. I just need it not in the engine bay. And I can always make an exhaust because this is coming out right where the exhaust went stuck. So that'll be super easy to make, but for now, that'll be fine. So I'm gonna pull it back out and get everything welded up. And here's a look at it pulled off. Um, obviously there's some kind of big gaps. I'm not much of a fabricator, but this will work and that's all I really care about. All right, got it all done. Basically the best welds that you'll ever see. Looks super good. Now, honestly, it's terrible, but it will hold and it'll keep the exhaust uh, going underneath the truck and I can always bolt a full exhaust up to it so I'm definitely happy with it so I'm gonna throw it in and uh, and that'll be that done okay so the downpipe is in with gaskets for the final time from the top you can't even see it really from right here you can see it I was able to bash in that side of it just enough to clear the frame so I'm not too worried about that and that's pretty much it just dumps out down here and so now I'm working on making a bracket to mount the throttle cable this is the throttle cable that came with the truck it's a pretty good length maybe a little long but because I have to come around the side due to turning the throttle body sideways pretty much perfect pretty much I'm just making a bracket that's gonna bolt on right down there to that bolt and then I'm just gonna weld this OEM bracket to it and that'll let me have adjustability on the phone cable okay so when I was trying to bolt my bracket in the stupid bolt stripped in this hole so right now I've just got some vice grips holding it on obviously gonna have to figure something else out but just for purposes of mocking it up and feeling it up 
Um, we got zip ties holding the bar where it needs to be, and these holding down the bracket. Push down the pedal, and it feels good. It feels like a gas pedal, so that's, uh, that's one step closer. And in the meantime, I'll be thinking of something else I can do to hold that together. I can't even weld the bracket to that because this thing's aluminum, so I have to figure something out. So at this point, I've started figuring out the wiring harness. I've decided that because of the way the engine is oriented, you know, in the truck versus in the front wheel drive car, um, it's easier to have the harness opposite how it was in the car. So in the car, this end was going through the driver's side firewall and vice versa. I've got them swapped and that's making it a lot easier so far. Your alternator plug and stuff is over here. And yeah, so I'm slowly just going through it, chopping off things I don't need. And once I get everything plugged in, I'll zip tie it out of the way and move on to the next thing.